They've been in jail for more than three months. The trial of Al Jazeera's journalists Peter Grasti, Mohammed Fahmi and Bahir Mohammed has been adjourned many times in the past. And the judge has refused to grant them bail. They are falsely accused of providing a platform to the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood, charges dismissed by the Al Jazeera network. Last week, the Al Jazeera journalists were allowed out of the cage dock for the first time. Addressing the judge, they vehemently denied any association with the Muslim Brotherhood. Their families have been demanding their release for months. He has two children, uh, Hazem four years old and Fairuz uh, three years old. He's expecting a new uh, child. Uh, he's a very kind person. All, all our relatives and friends uh, like him so much. Beher trained as a professional journalist. My brother Muhammad Fahmi is a professional award-winning journalist and is in no way whatsoever associated with any political group. Seeing my brother in this situation is absolutely the worst feeling. The case in which 17 others are also charged has attracted international condemnation. Advocacy groups, rights activists and various governments have all called for the release of the Al Jazeera staff. Peter's parents say they are frustrated. I think that I've just about reached the end of, of my tether. I don't know what happens to people once they get over that edge. Uh, but. Uh, I feel that I'm not very far from whatever it means, cracking. But, you know, we've, we're not far from that point. We're getting exhausted and tired and we feel as if we're running on empty all the time now. A fourth journalist, Al Jazeera Arabic's Abdullah Shami, has been detained without trial since last August. He's been on hunger strike for more than two months. The Al Jazeera rejects all the charges and continues to call for the immediate release of all its staff. Hashim Ahbara, Al Jazeera.